Vancouver Islanders have shown your incredible generosity with fundraisers we've hosted here at Czech, such as Rock for Relief and the Terry Fox Telethon. But now until October 31st, youth have the chance to give $250 to the charity of their choice. Veronica Cooper has more. I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was five. And when I was six, um, help fill a dream. They helped their nonprofit organization and they helped me and my family with my n medical supplies. And we were so thrilled and I always wanted to help them out by giving back. So I decided to recycle bottles and give the money to the charity. Andre, when he was diagnosed with type one, um, I remember his reaction. He was just like, okay, what's next? What do I have to do now? Two years ago, I thought of a fun idea by, to raise money by doing handstands downtown. And last year, I started holding lemonade stands at my house. Meet 10-year-old Andre Marty. One of the most amazing youth philanthropists that exists in the world. And Andrew Beckerman would know because he is also filled with compassion and generosity for others. His latest giving venture started with Canada's 150th birthday in 2017. I wanted to commemorate that because I'm an immigrant and I called the Victoria Foundation. The Victoria Foundation told Andrew about National Philanthropy Day and an idea was born to give $100 Canada Helps gift cards to young people and let them choose the charity. And I think the first year we had 90 young people participate, the second year 150-ish, last year I believe we had 220. Me and Andrew met I think two years ago at the Philanthropy Day Awards and I was doing my speech and after he came up to me and congratulated me on winning. Eight-year-old Andre learned of the Canada Helps gift cards, did the workshop, and... I got the $100 and gave it to Help Fill a Dream. And he's all about spreading the word. For example, some kids might see me on this interview and they might ask me at school and of course I'll educate them and let them know what it means to give, to give back and what philanthropy means. Now, the Association of Fundraising Professionals has partnered with Coast Capital Savings to create the Power of Youth Giving Hearts Workshop. We're not able to meet in person this year, but we have tailored all of our materials online. So it is a do-it-yourself philanthropy toolkit that youth can do as a group that will help teach them about philanthropy, uh, how it shows up in their life, and how they can give back to their community. The final activity culminates in a submission to receive $250 to the charity of your choice. The deadline is October 31st. It's important that youth sign up and they work through this toolkit during the month of October uh, so that all of the funds we've been generously given from Andrew Beckerman get infused into the community and get given to charities all over Canada. National Philanthropy Day is November 15th. And just what does philanthropy mean? It means to help others after they helped you and give back to like your community or it doesn't even have to be money. It can, sometimes it can just be like saying a kind word to someone or treating them with respect and being kind. Learn more at npdvictoria.com. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.